Hello everybody and welcome to another one of my videos. Today I was uh, just uh, working on the game and uh, I came across a very peculiar problem, so to say. Um, so I needed this text right here. Wait, let me just move this a bit to the side. So this is a whole prefab object and uh, I need to use um, text elements in order to display the uh, remaining moves until this unit gets to move and then down here is where the health and the attack are going to be. So I had to uh, solve this by using a text. Um, now there are multiple ways of getting this done. The best way is to make your own font and import that and your own font is going to have shadows or special effects or uh, maybe transparency in the middle of it, whatever. Uh, that is the, I think, not easiest but best way to, to solve this. Now when I googled this I came across oh, no, that. Uh, I came across uh, sort of these answers right here. Now one of them was saying that I have to do this whole code and I didn't really feel like it because it looks like a lot of work and it's just for one text I would have to um, maybe make this a method or you know uh, hard code did uh, solve this for everybody for all of the all of the text elements that I've got, so this wasn't very appealing. Now, the second method is to use uh, plugins such as uh, Text Mesh Pro, which you can handily buy for 95 bucks. Now, I get it. This is a very good feature, and a lot of people have liked it and have given it five stars. Um, well, if you're like us on a budget, then you don't have time or money. To do this, um, some other there are some other plugins. If I'm not mistaken, let me see. Uh, Ask Store, this one right here. This is a bit cheaper. It's only 30 bucks, and it also gives you text effects. And you know they look good. I'm not going to say that they don't. But this, these are like complex effects. I just needed a stroke um, for my an outline for my text. So what I ended up doing was uh, I just added shadows. So if I go ahead and uh, I, uh, disable these shadows, you can clearly see that my text now looks pretty damn bad. You know, it, it, it wouldn't be fun or easy to to read. Let me go ahead and and, and uh, change it. This would be these would be the letters that you know. Granted, they don't look that bad, but they're not as easy to see as uh, they can be with the shadows. So if you add four shadows, you need to add four because the shadows are projected. Bear in mind, this is for 2D texts, so I don't know if 3D texts are different. I haven't tried this on 3D texts, but uh, this does work for, for 2D texts. So if you add shadows, you can even customize the colors of them, if you, you know, so desire, if you want some uh, color effects on them. You need to add four for uh, for the four corners because the shadow is kind of a projection if you can imagine this. The, the light comes from uh, one side and it hits the object and uh, then the shadow is projected on the other uh, on the other sides of it. So if you add one shadow for each corner meaning four shadows in total you can get a pretty nice uh, effect right here and this makes the text actually easy to read at least in my opinion so this is kind of the easiest way to solve this problem if you're having it uh, I recommend using it uh, if you're looking for something quick and cheap I don't know what impact this has on the performance uh, of the of the game, especially with handheld uh, devices or, or tablets, but you can imagine that uh, you can just you know uh, trial and error your way to success with this method as well. All right, so that was it. Thank you to everybody for watching and listening, and hopefully I'll see you guys next time. Bye bye.